Hello everybody, Alan Nursall, Tell Us World of Science Edmonton here, still in my kitchen, and still doing science with stuff that you probably have lying around the house, like a used two liter pop bottle. No pop in it, this one's just filled almost to the top with water, okay? And I'll show you something here, something important that happens here. If I seal it up and I come back here and I try to squeeze it, a couple things happen. Most importantly, the thing you can see, that little bubble there, when I squeeze it hard, the bubble gets smaller. The bubble gets smaller because I can compress the gas, I can compress the air in there, I can make it smaller, but I can't compress the liquid. Liquids are incompressible, they don't change volume with pressure. So I'm going to use that for a little, uh, a little demonstration here. The second thing you need, I'm going to get this lid off the bottle, is a little ketchup packet just like you get from the fast food place. Take, I'm gonna take this ketchup packet and I'm just gonna tuck it through the neck of the bottle into the water and lo and behold, it floats. It floats because it's got ketchup in there and it's also got a little air bubble in there as well. Just a little air bubble, just enough so it's gonna float on the water. Now, what's gonna happen if I pressurize this bottle a little bit more just by squeezing it? Turns out I can transmit pressure through the liquid. Let's see what happens. Whoops, we lost it. Down it goes, down to the bottom. Let it go, unsqueeze, and back it comes. Come around to the front there. You ready for your close up? There we go. I squeeze, down it goes. Release. Because when I'm squeezing, I'm putting pressure on the bottle, I'm also putting pressure on the gas bubble inside that ketchup container and making it smaller so it becomes less buoyant. It's now negative buoyancy, positive buoyancy as the bubble gets bigger, and if I squeeze it just enough, I can make it neutrally buoyant too. Come on, get down there, go, go. I can make it stop. Just hold it, there we go. Look at that. Okay, that's called a Cartesian diver, and it's kind of cool because it shows you how pressure can be transmitted through other substances like water. Now, we can do a little more of an experiment. I'm going to take mustard and relish and stick them in there too and just see if they behave the same way. This is what we call an experiment because we're going to have controlled conditions, same circumstances for ketchup, relish, and mustard. Let's squeeze the bottle and see what happens. Oh, look at the, oh, it's a drag race to the bottom by the relish and the ketchup. But the mustard, very buoyant mustard, wants to stay up there. But mustard wants to float. And it wants to float. It's the most buoyant of all, and I'm not going to get it to move at all. But I can get the ketchup and the relish. If I release the pressure, the relish comes back first. So it's a little more buoyant, a little more floaty than the ketchup. And you can just do this all day. That's the Cartesian Diver. I'm Alan Nursall, over and out.